All right, so this is uh, CS300, and uh, this week we talked about the binary search trees. It's a, it's a new data structure, and uh, it's often used um, in um, computer science to basically organize the data such, such that you can search um, the item in uh, logarithms um, uh, time complexities, okay? So the principle behind the binary search tree is basically you want to maintain a basically binary tree, okay? A binary tree is a tree with a, a left and right node, okay? Uh, each node has a left and right children or have no children, uh, but it has most uh, two children. Um, and, um, and also the BST is, uh, is that the left child um, is less or equal to the, the, the parent nodes and the parent node is um, less or equal to the right child. So for this subtree, for example, any node on the left-hand side should be all less or equal to the parent node, the top node D, right? And any node is right side of the D is greater or equal to D. So with that property, you can easily search a element if you know this value. For example, if you have a number that's less than D, then you know you can throw half uh, of the tree, subtree away, any nodes that's greater than D, you don't need to care about it. And then you can just search from the left side. And on the left side, you can again search recursively until you find the node or there's no node and you can return not found. So every time you throw away half of the item, that gives you the logs um, and co time complexity. So it's a very fast um, search. Now, of course, um, to maintain this uh, property, you have to also have a balance tree, meaning the left-hand side number of nodes on left to the right should be um, very close. Otherwise, the tree will degenerate into a linked list. And then um, in a linked list, when you search for, uh, for a node, it's O of N, right? So, you know, to, to maintain a, a good balance tree is a key to have a advantage in search, search uh, time. So the, the exercise or programming exercise for this week is basically continue with the same data, uh, same configurations basically, um, but use the tree as a data structure to store the bid data and to uh, insert a bid, remove a bid and search a bid. So again, let's let's take a look. First, you click on this link to download your, your starting code as usual. And then uh, once you start it, okay. I already extracted into a uh, empty folder. Okay. Um, and uh, let's uh, take a look at so if you open this empty folder, you will see a starting code binary search tree and the CSV parser as usual. It's the library code to parse the CSV file. When you submit the homework, you don't need to submit this because these are the common. You only, you only submit one CPP file that you modified, okay? And uh, I, when I grade it, I only need to plug in your code with the rest of the uh, well, template and compiler code. So don't give me a zip code for everything. Just this one single file is good enough. All right. Um, and as usual in the CSV, uh, in the VS code, I'm gonna um, go to the lab. Um, BST, Burnet search tree. And I'm gonna copy the CMake file from previous lab and copy it to my own um, file. And I'm gonna do is do a CMake. Um, oh, oh yeah, you need a main CPP. So in my CMake file, I assume the uh, the source file is called the main CPP. So I can just do a symbolic link. Um, binary search tree dot CPP. 
man.cpp. Okay, so the man.cpp will be uh, found. Okay, cmake, cmake list. All right, and then do a make. All right, so you can see there's some errors from the starting code. This is because in the starting code, um, there's a couple of um, functions, public API is missing, right? For example, here, out of line definition of post order does not match end declaration in the binary search tree. So you have to declare post order as well. So here, post order. And then it's missing um, pre order. By the way, pre order, post order, in order, traversal of the tree is a basic fundamental. Um, skill that you should you should master, right? This is a fundamental um, you know, recursive thinking that's um, dealing with, if you're dealing with any tree related operations, uh, these, uh, you know, ordered of operation is a must, right? Okay. And I think I also, it also missed the, the, the little pre-order um, function. So pre-order um, and post-order. Okay, hopefully these definitions may satisfy this compiler. Let's make it again. And okay, so now it's compiled. All right, so like I suggested, you always want to make sure the starting code compiles before you do any new code. And after you implement a function, run the uh, compile again, make sure there's no errors until you finish, right? So this way, if you have any error, you will catch it early and you probably uh, will figure it out soon. Okay, so first of all, fix me number one, initialize the housekeeping variable root is equal to new pointer. So basically the root is the private data structure to hold the tree. Okay, the top level is called root. So initially this empty tree, Right, so that means, oops. Uh, let's go back to uh, this. Initially it's empty tree. Um, so what are you gonna do is just set the root to new pointer and that's it. All right, and um, there's a destructor function recursively from root leading every node. I will leave it to you as an exercise for now. That's focusing on um, this uh, in order. So what does in order do, right? Um, if you go back to the, the book, okay. Um, The Zybox tells you how to do the in order traversal. It's uh, binary search trees. Um, in order traversal, basically it's very simple, right? So if the node um, is no, you return and otherwise, so you process, okay, so process the, uh, left side first and then you print yourself and then you process the right side second. These are recursive calls. So basically it will not print yourself until you print all your left left subtree. And in each, le each level, you will also do this in order of left yourself and right recursively, okay? So if translate to the uh, to the actual code here. Uh, where is it? That's, that's the paradox. In all the function, so you basically have a helper function to help you recursively call it 
Um, so I'm gonna just call um, in order and then pass in the root, okay? Very simple. Same as post order, you just call post order and pass in the root. Okay. Um, yeah. And then the help function for the pre-order, same thing. Pass the root. Okay. So let's go to the in order function to fit, to implement this helper function. So first of all, pre order uh in order. Well, this is a typo, right? This is in order. In order root. So basically, follow the follow the instruction. Um, You only do anything if node is not equal to no pointer, okay? So if node exists, right? You want to in order visit its left subtree, left, okay? And then when it comes to your turn, you're gonna print out yourself, okay? dot uh, good ID um, and dot title um, dot amount. Basically, um, every information about this bit, right? dot um, found, okay, and new line. And then I'm gonna in order recursively call the function to the right subtree, all right? So whenever you deal with the recursive code, you have to take a, a faith in the recursive function itself, say, hey, this in order will help me between the left subtree. And then just don't worry how they did it. Um, and then once this is assumption, you just add to it, okay, I'm gonna print myself and then I'm gonna print everything on the right side. Okay. Uh, why this one has, okay. I think that's good. It's a void, so it didn't return anything. So let me compile it, all right? Make clean and make. All right, so there's some errors. You can see 123, there is a semicolon that I forgot. Yeah, should I have, uh, and 187 in order. Ah, I have a typo in order. See, these are the mistakes that you won't find if you don't compile frequently. Now it's clear, okay. So that's cleared. Um, so post order is about the same. I can copy and paste here, except post order means um, you, you want to visit to the left first and the right second, and then lastly, you visit yourself. That's why it's called post order, right? So you just cop, cut, paste, all right? So that's your post order. And uh, pre-order is you deal with yourself first and then deal with left and right, okay? Pre-order is like this. And you deal with the yourself first. And then pre-order. All right. So that's the difference, right? It's only, the, the only difference is when you start to um, print the current node and then you just, you know, have a faith that the other recursive function will make this property hold, right? Open all the left subtree and right subtree. So let's clean it again. 
make. All right, so it's still good. Now let's do um, add node. Do insert. So insertion on top level, um, if <clears throat> root is equal to no pointer, that means it's empty tree. So if you insert any bit, you can just set this root equal to new uh, bit, sorry, new node um, with bit, right? So if it's empty. Now, else, else, if it, root is not empty, well, I'm gonna just uh, call the recursive function called add node and well, at, at root level, the bit, right? So what is this add node? Um, this add node here basically follows this algorithms, right? Um, so the add node helper function will do like this. So if the node is not equal to new pointer, right? Otherwise, you know, you, you don't need to, uh, you know, deal with it. So, and then it's also because whenever you dereference the pointer, you want to make sure the pointer is not new pointer. Otherwise there is a second fault, right? And node bid, bid ID, and I'm gonna compare that because a string you have to use compare function, not equal equal function. Bid ID, right? If your bid ID is equal to uh, is greater than zero, right? Does that mean um, because of BST you have to know which side is bigger? So if your current node is uh, bigger than the node that you're gonna insert. All right, the ID of the bit insert. So your bit goes to the left, left side of your current node. Okay, but before you insert it, we also have some cases. If the left side of the node is no pointer, okay, so there's empty left-hand side, then you can simply insert there, okay? So left is gonna be the new node, which return a pointer to the bit object, okay? And now you're gonna return. Well, because you're already done, right? That's if the node left is a new pointer. Else, it's not no pointer. Well, what do we do? Um, well, we can do a recursive call. We can add node to its left-hand side, right? Provided it's not new. All right. But even if it's new, you can just, just Trust to this add node to just return. All right. So that's the if the compare is is it's greater, it's the current node is greater than the node you can insert. Right. Else, if um, I'm gonna spell out this condition again, node is not new pointer, and node bit dot bit id compare to uh, the bit dot bit ID um, is less than zero. If that's the case, I'm gonna insert to the right-hand side. So it's very symmetrical code, right? I can even copy this and change everything from left to right. Oops. Yeah, so if node right and just right, that, uh, otherwise you just insert to the right. All right, so this is the whole logic for adding the node recursively. This would be the right, right node. Comment is not, all right. So we have implemented this uh, add new node thing. What about, Remove a node. That's the most difficult part. Or is you know, 
unfortunately, I don't think there is a remove node, right? Um, all right, let's do the search part. Search part is easy, right? Because that whole thing about finding search tree is for the search. So let's do the search first. Okay, again, if you search a bid ID, I'm gonna uh, use a current node to point to the root. To start with the root, start with the top node, right? So um, if current node is not, a new pointer. And if um, current, you no know, uh, bid, I'm going to compare this with the bid ID. If it's as equal to zero, that means you search, you find it, right? If you find it, what do you do? You return the current bid. Otherwise, otherwise, if bid ID compare with the current bid dot bid ID, if it's less than that, if your my search item is on the left hand side, what do you do? Well, I'm gonna recursively, uh, recursively move it down to a uh, to the left, right? So I'm going to search left to see if I can find um, such a node. Otherwise, um, I'm going to go to the right. There's only two ways to go because it's a binary tree, right? If it's not a binary tree, you have more uh, ways to, to do it. All right, so um, save it. Uh, Make. All right, so it's still good. <clears throat> All right, and um, that's the remove. Okay, search. Well, sorry, this should be, this should be, this would be the search, sorry. I don't know why I put it here. This should be in the search. If you didn't find anything, I'm gonna return an empty bit because you know the return value should be bid. So that's the only thing to uh, think about it. Now let's do a um, remove remove node. So first of all, in a remove the bit, just call remove node, and then pass in root, and then bit ID. Um, bit ID, right? <clears throat> So the, the whole thing about to remove is in the remove node helper function again. So we're gonna do recursive calls, right? So you need some help uh, helper function. All right, so <clears throat> let's do uh, let's use remove. All right, remove node. Okay, how to remove the node? I don't think they have a remove node, uh, so I have to add this on your own. Um, this is a signature of the function. So remove node with a node and bit ID. All right, how do we do that? So first of all, there's a couple of uh, cases, right? If the node is new pointer, that means it's empty tree again, right? If it's new pointer, it's empty tree, well, we can return the node. 
right? There's nothing to, to search. It's, oh, sorry, to remove. It's empty already. You cannot remove the empty one. Else if, else if, um, if I compare the bit ID with current node, it's uh, bit and bit ID. If it's greater than or it's less than that, then I'm gonna go which direction? I'm gonna go left, right? And remember this remove node will return a node after the removal is done. So I'm gonna recursive call this remove node with the left side and bit ID, okay? This is recursive call, right? So now the next level, the node left, if it's a new, you can just return that node because you are at the end of the leaf, okay? Recurse down the right subtree, the left subtree, okay? So um, again, there's another case All right, this will be uh, parenthesis. This is a condition. If that's the case, you just uh, recursive down. Else if, and I'm gonna copy this. It's the same thing, except, ah. And I do re, re undo. All right, I just want to copy it and paste it here. So it's a similar similar uh, structure. If it's greater than zero, all right? If greater than zero, then node right is equal to remove node of uh, this node right um, and bit ID. Else, So you, um, if the empty node, you just return. If there's a, a left node, you just uh, keep a recursive searching to the left and to remove that node from the left subtree and right subtree. It's very similar to the search, except you want to remove this case as a return that node, right? So um, So this else basically says node is not no pointer. Right? So basically this else means you are your bid ID matches your current bid. ID so match point found. Okay, so now you're gonna have to divide that into you're gonna delete this this node. But before you delete, you have to think about the condition, right? So if the node left is no pointer, so nothing it has no left children and the right hand side is no pointer. So that means they have no children. It's a leaf node. This is the leaf node. The leaf node is simple, just simply delete it, right? From delete node. Um and no pointer. So that's the delete. Now else if node left is not equal to no pointer. 
but node right is a new pointer. So there's only one children. If it's one children simple, right? We're gonna promote um, the, the only children um, to, to be that current node. So I'm gonna use a temporary node to hold this node. And then node will be whatever it's left, right? Because left is only pointer. And then delete temp. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the temp. Now there's some symmetrical here, so I'm gonna just copy and paste here. Um, so if the right hand side is new, left hand side is is new. Right hand side has something, so you're gonna to go to the right to find this. So you're gonna swap this node with the right hand side and delete the temp. Now, if it has both children, that's the last case. Well, this is a little complicated. So if there is both children, so which one you're gonna replace, right? Well, you're gonna replace to maintain the BST property. Can you replace the left node with you? Yes, you can, but not any left node, right? Or I can replace a node from the right-hand side with that current node, but you have to pretend a property. So if I were to pick a node from the right-hand side and replace with me, I would find the minimum node on the right-hand side. Why? Because that node has to be less than all the nodes on the right-hand side. So the only node that satisfies this property is a minimum node on the right-hand side. So find the minimum uh, of the right subtree nodes, okay, for BST. Or you can find the maximum of the left subtree and replace with node, okay? So let's try this uh, right subtree replacement. Again, I have a temp node, uh, that's node.right, okay? This is the candidate. Now, while temp um, left, so I'm gonna go to the right and look at the left, left node of that node. Because why? Because I'm looking at the, the small list pointer, it always going to the left, because right is bigger, remember? So if that is not new, I'm gonna recursively curse down to the left, always go to the left because all the minimum one should be in the left. Once you have nowhere to go, you reach no pointer, then that means uh, you find this node, you find the minimum node. Oh, I can just copy that bit to the current node to be replaced. And for the right-hand side node, I'm gonna remove that smallest element from the right-hand side. So I'm gonna remove the node. Remove the node of the right-hand side with, uh, with the temp bit ID, okay? Because the temp, bit is this minimum node. I want to delete the minimum node from the right subtree. That's what it is, okay? And because I don't know better, this is a recursive function call, uh, you may have to deal with this four conditions again, right? How to delete that. If the leaf node is simple, it's basically one of these tools. And if it's empty, just like that. And then if it's not, if the if the left hand side node itself has left and right children, 
you have to do the drill again. So it's a recursive call. So it's the beauty of recursive. Now, don't forget at the end, you uh, properly deleted the node and you want to return the new node um, to the caller. So you want to know uh, what's the new head, right? The new root of that tree after you deleted one node. I think that's it. If you compile again, um, still build. If I do bid, load bids, display all bids, and find a bid, delete a bid. Okay, and then exit. So make sure you test with the big data, small data, and delete multiple times. Make sure you don't have a bug. Now I said I will leave you as exercise to to do this uh, recursively call delete every node. The hint is you can go to the side books. There is a non recursive way to. Uh, uh, I actually give you, uh, there's a link called the in order tree traversal without recursing. Basically you use a stack because recursive call is like a stack, right? Um, so so yeah, use a stack to make it non-recursive. I'm gonna give you that link in the chat window, right? So that you can see it here, right? Um, all right, so that's all for today and good luck with your homework. Bye.